going to be demonstrating our Moon Glow mica powders. This is how they come to you. This happens to be our mother load set. And in front of me here, so that you can see the colors, is our Sunset Blaze. And I will also be using our electrostatic cloths and our water brush and our cork board. I have stamped and embossed this flower collection from our Crocus and Cherry Blossom stamp sheet. So I've embossed this with our Midnight Ruby embossing powder, which gives it just a little sheen of the red. The nice thing about embossing it first is that when I do start painting with my mica powders, it almost gives me a raised edge that the mica powder won't go outside of. So I don't have to be any kind of fancy painter. So I've got my water brush here. I'm gonna squeeze a little bit of water down into the tip. And then I like to use the cap of the mica powder to just kind of get that paint nice and wet. And I also in this water brush have a little bit of gum arabic which then will fix the mica powder to my paper and you can see I can just paint like I would normally paint and the more powder I add obviously the darker it's going to be so I can add in some shadowing here and even take maybe a second color just to give it some more dimension And you can see I don't wipe much. I just kind of start mixing. So that it gives it a little bit more depth. And that's all I do. Our mica powders, once they dry, will give that secondary two-toned effect so that your project will have all kinds of depth stamp I'm going to be using today. It is from our Spruce and Pine Trees collection. So I've cut it out, mounted it, and used our acrylic block. And what I'm going to do is on this case I'm going to use a black piece of cardstock and my Versamark pad. And I'm just going to do my normal old stampin'. Pat, pat, pat. Stamp down on here. And if you use the cork for stamping, it gives just a little bit of cushion, which can make the stamp uh, show up just a little bit more. And then I'm going to take, oh, I think I'm going to take this guy. And a brush. And I'm just going to take a little bit of that powder out of there and start wiping him across here. And you can see it takes almost no powder whatsoever. And then I think I'm going to maybe use kind of a sunset look here. So I'm going to use this next one here. And again, I'm using the Sunset Blaze mica powder. And you can see there that I'm getting a little bit of orange. And obviously, wherever I have stamped with the Versamark, shines through now all that extra powder that you see on there I use my electrostatic cloths and wipe all of the extra away so that what I have left is a beautiful shining almost chalk like image 